three, two, one. What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you don't touch me, okay, it's about to get a whole lot harder to, to, to decide the price. A whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because today we are playing Guess That Price! Or I guess there's a more famous name known as uh, The Price is Right. <laughs> with a question mark. So what we are going to be doing today, Rep Pack, is we have been doing a lot of weapon reviews, item reviews. And I'd say overall, wouldn't you say you and I have a pretty good idea of what value you can get when it comes to weapons and a lot of other products? A lot more than the general populace. Yeah, for sure. So we're going to be putting that to the test today. In a competition to see who can be more accurate at guessing the price of Paisy. I tried Phil. She is very not threatened by me. <laughs> all right, let's just slide you on out of here. Let's move you all the way out. Come on, come on, come on. No, well, she's smarter than that. She's gotten smarter. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> we are going to be trying to test who is more accurate at guessing the prices of different weapons that we're going to be going through. It's going to be on three different categories. One, affordable. <laughs> Which basically means prices from $1 all the way to $50. Just so we have a range of what we can guess in. Because obviously, you know, weapons, I've gotten machetes that were like $10 that could cut like an $80 one. I've gotten machetes that were $100 that could cut like a $5 one. And in the second category, I'm calling this one practical. <laughs> and that basically means mid-range items between $50 to $100. Something just a little bit in the middle, like something in the mid-tier quality, maybe the low-tier quality. We don't know exactly until we see the item, but that is the guessing margin. And the last item, unaffordable. <laughs> that will be between $100 and $200. And as we're playing, whoever guesses closest to the item will actually get to win that item. And whoever has best two out of three for the entire game actually gets a $100 gift card to nowhere. Nowhere? The best food place of all time, the best, best family restaurant with a reasonable price and a good in family environment. No way. You got it from Cortina's. No, I don't know sandwiches. What? Chili's. Chili's. What? what? Chili's. You know? Chili's, the chain Ch restaurant. The chain, the best chain restaurant where everybody has fun and they have great chips and salsa and great waitresses and waiters. Oh, wow. Okay, Talladega Nights. <laughs> a one hundred dollar gift card to Chili's. Okay. Why? Because I really, really like Chili's, especially their queso. And this is the only way I can make a tax write off. <laughs> I, mean, I guess that's fair. Free chili. All right, so now we're gonna get started, guys. We're gonna have the item under here, and then we're gonna reveal the item. We get to assess the item. Then we're gonna go outside, test it, see what it's capable of, then make our guesses, and we'll see who's to win the item. And also, get closer to getting to that chilies. I'm going at happy hour, baby, stretching that hundred dollar gift card. <laughs> All right, so the first item is on the table. Sounds not actually very solid, but it's there <laughs> underneath the table, and that is our cheap price range. This is our affordable category, and that is from one dollar all the way to fifty dollars. I'm gonna be reading what the item is, then we're gonna reveal it, check it out, and then like I said, go outside and test it. Okay, so this right here is a machete, which is why I made the reference earlier, probably. But here's the catch on it. It is like you know a butcher's knife has that we'll put it on screen. A butcher's knife has that big giant blade and then a ring at the end. Yeah. It's basically a, a machete slash katana where you take that and just stretch that blade part all the way out. <laughs> what? It's a it's a butcher katana. Cachetti. Sounds like a, like, a, like a really bad baseball player. Andy Cachetti. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're going with butcher honor. Butcher katana. This is the supplier for Benihana. <laughs> <laughs> but basically what it is, it's supposed to be butcher's knife styled, but a machete. And this is from $1 to $50. We have to guess what the price is. But you will get throughout the game one Hail Mary question, which is origin. You can ask what is the origin. Both of us gets one of them to ask the origin of where the item came from. So that means whether it came from Amazon, Wish, eBay. That'll give us a good idea of where we're at on the price. If it's on Amazon, it's probably a little nicer than something on Wish, for example. But let's see what we got here. Again, you're basing off, I mean, you can get a lot from just what it looks like before we even test it. And I kept the packaging too. Too, that gives us a lot of information too. Yes. Doesn't definitely doesn't look like cold steel packaging. No, that is not cold steel packaging. <laughs> For sure. Oh, there's no other packaging. <laughs> it's actually a sheet, but it came out the sheet. <laughs> So we got a sheet, a lot. I saw something very quickly. Made in China. You know what made in China means? Not gold steel. Not gold steel, then affordable. <laughs> <laughs> the blade itself actually looks pretty damn nice. That thing looks very freaking sharp and pretty 
solid. So maybe on the higher end of that 50, I'm not sure quite yet. Stainless steel made in China. Go ahead if you want to give that a hand if you want to feel the weight on it. It's okay. pretty nice solid weight yeah, though. All right, yeah, I mean, you got like your basic like uh, what, paracord, not even paracord, kind of like yeah. rope-ish kind of stuff down here, which is all right. I'm trying to get a little bit of a figure. Like I've eliminated some prices in my head. So as of I, so now we're gonna go outside and test it. And then you guys in the comments and us will be able to get our numbers out there. We'll get to reveal what the price is and see who gets to keep this bad boy. Cause I actually really want to keep this. All right guys, so we got the freaking the what are we gonna call it, the butcher shetty? Or no, you call it the butcher shetty, Blah. Okay, here's the official name. William Smith. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is very sharp. It is very, very sharp. But in lower quality metals, I've noticed they don't have as good a pass through, even if they're sharp, just because it's lower quality metal. But what do you think? Is this lower quality melody or not? I mean, I can't really tell just by the eye of it. We're gonna have to see right here. So you make your guess right now, Rep Peg. Will it pass through all? I'm saying I don't think it'll get past the second one. I think we'll get past the second one. All right, well, we'll see. I don't know about the third one. The third one's a wild card. <laughs> all right, three, two, one. Oh! 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 oh, oh. Okay! It actually went through all three of them, and I will say, as, as the one swing it, there was not very much resistance. The shopping power. Dude, that thing is just straight up that, sharp. Yeah, that was just effortless. <laughs> all right, let's try a little bit, something a little bit more dense, see how that works. All right, so next we're gonna be trying, this is one of the sharpness tests that never usually works on anything crappy, and that is the top pop. We're gonna be doing a triple top pop challenge. What I'm gonna do is going left, right, center, down the middle. If this thing is shit, it is not getting through. This is carbonated, it's dense plastic. It's not gonna be easy, so here we go. Three, two, one. This but. one's barely on there. Dude, these things usually come off pretty clean though. This one's clean off. Oh, that pop. <laughs> that that one just kind of tore. That was a good test. That gave me a lot of information. Cause like I said guys, cold steel, all the heads would have been off for <laughs> all sure. All the heads. Yeah, all the heads would have been gone. <laughs> all right guys, so the last test we're gonna be doing is test the agility on this thing and also the sharpness a little bit with the grapefruit test as we know is the most fruit juice fruit of all time. Three, two, one. <laughs> And that wasn't bad. I don't know if I'd say that it was. Just look at the slices on them. Like, <laughs> the juiciest oh. of all fruits. All right, so now, guys, we are going to take everything we learned. We're going to assess it. We're going to go inside, try and guess what our price is, and then we'll reveal what the price actually is and find out. All right, guys, so we just got outside. We tested this thing, and I'd say it actually blew my mind. That was actually surprisingly, did, did well. Did well. <laughs> yeah. So now is the question. Well, how much did it cost? This was in the affordable round, so it should be somewhere between $1 and $50. On screen, I am going to have the number pop up what the actual price is but this is the first point here Parker I actually want to keep this I'm hoping I get it right we are both going to write our name or we'll write them down we're writing down that way because I was gonna say just say your number but then I can just copy it so we'll just write them both down Ooh, and, that's that's good idea. <laughs> and the price will be revealed and whoever's closest gets to keep it and gets a point towards the Chili's gift card and you guys comment down below right now what you think the price is all right so right now we're gonna write down on these pieces of paper our prices we'll write mine down then you're gonna write yours down and we're Reveal them at the same time, and we'll see who's correct. All right, so on this paper is my answer, on this paper is Parker's answer. Let's see what I put first, let's see what we got here. All right, I guess that the price of this is $22.99. Oh, all right. I think it is $23. I think it's got, you know, a little bit. I think it's just somewhere in the middle of affordable. It's something good, but nothing too good. All right, three, two, one. Where is it? It's right here. It's small. I thought it was a flea. $28. $28. Okay, that's pretty close to what I had. He put $28. I put $22 on screen right now. I'm going to reveal the price and we will find out what it is. Oh my God. That's right. We were both so wrong. <laughs> okay, so we do have origins. We're basically first gonna ask where the origins are, where it came from. I'm gonna give you the origin for this one. You were correct, it came from which? $7. $7, no, it was not $7. <laughs> that was $7. Oh my God. $7. That is the best machete I've ever got for $7. Maybe we just were just really appreciated because we didn't know how much it was. Maybe in life, if we didn't know how much things were and we just 
enjoyed them for what they were, they might actually not be that bad. I agree with that, but this is wish. It doesn't work that way. You're right. This is a coincidence. Damn, <laughs> I guess, I guess, uh, I guess none of us were. No, I was closest. I mean, I mean <laughs> you were, we were very close to me. You're closer to me than that, so I don't know if you should get the point. I'll be honest, I went with the safe one, which was the closest to 25. That's like clear in the middle. So I had the point on this one. 23 is my guess. I was closer, not by much, but closer to it. So I get my first point. Consider a chip already dipped in my salsa for chilies. All right, so you've seen affordable. Well now, how about the middle class? Don't forget about the middle class, the dwindling middle class. <laughs> All right, practical. All right, so this is the mid-range item. This has to be within 50 to $100. And that is the only price range you can guess within. So we're gonna reveal the item right now and we'll see what we got here. Let me see what the text says for exactly what the description is. All right, so under here we have a 44 inch Fantasy sword. I've seen TVs big up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds expensive right there. 44 inches fantasy sword with double dragon daggers and display plaque. It sounds like it could be either really, really awesome or it's trying to be really, really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> one of the two. So we're going to see what we got here and we'll find out. We'll try to guess the price on it, but this one seems like it might be a little tough. All right, so let's do the reveal and see what we got here. Three, two, one. Okay, that oh. looks dope. All right. All right. <laughs> this looks like some kind of dragon slayer here. This looks awesome. Grip, definitely not mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely like some kind of synthetic leather or leather or the idea that they thought of maybe doing some kind of textured handle shows me there's a little bit of price in it. Maybe I got, I, I haven't felt it. Ribbed. <laughs> wow. be first leather, time you touched leather. it, you didn't lust it. You first, the first time you touched anything and didn't disrespect it. It's, it's behind me. <laughs> Hi, my name's Parker. I exclusively touch and then disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next thing we got here is the sword has paint on it. Paint is not cheap. Paint right. is not cheap. The last thing They was... usually paint things that are cheap. The <laughs> thing is though, the last one was stainless steel. They didn't have to paint it. This one, they used paint. But like you said, a lot of times that could be cheap paint. We need to know if it's real paint or baked paint. Let's check out this side. Okay, that, that fell out pretty easily. What is that? That must be the devil dagger. That's pretty dope. Is it bent? That is bent. That came out bent? That is that's up to debate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have the dagger. One seems to be bent and the other one seems good. The thing about this though is like, yeah, that may be cheap, but gimmicks, gimmicks aren't cheap. That's true. I <laughs> That, like. So we'll take it outside and see what it's capable of. I'll we'll try and guess the price on it. You know what this looks like? Slifer, the sky dragon. Oh my god. You did nothing. <laughs> you did nothing. I found out what it looks like. There, that curse of dragon was right. That looks like <laughs> curse of dragon right there. That is straight up the same thing. All right, let's go outside and see if this could curse of dragons. All right, guys. So now we're trying out the. <laughs> I'm on my dragon spell. The last dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying this thing out. As you guys can see, these things keep falling out. So I'm saying that's a knocking price for sure. But let's see if that's any other power. So right here, guys, we're going to be going for the triple plunge. So here we go. The plunge. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, it only got wow. one, dude. Three, two, one. Oh, dude, that thing will not stick Put steady. the two Hawaiian punches together. It's already taking points off. Three, two, one. Oh! Where did that come from? Last dragon only comes out when he really is needed. Okay, well. I don't know because I will say though, you guys see me do this a lot. I'm pretty accurate when it comes to stabbing. That's not just a two my own door. That thing was not very guidable. This is the hardest one so far. Well, I mean, we've only done two. But of the two, this is the hardest one so far because it looks like it took time to make it look this good, but everything about it says it's not good. Let's try out those little daggers. Maybe we'll do a little combo and then we can get inside and get, I think I already kind of have a price range for this one. All right, guys. So it came with these two dragon daggers. I'm going to try to throw them. I, I, as I say, anything is throwable. So the credit to them, I don't know, but we will see right now. I just put a regular jug there so we can see if we can even get it to sink into something. Hey, that's a little bit of a something. Three, two, one. Oh! Okay, that thing's not getting in there for sure. I threw that one pretty hard. Hey, you know what? Yeah, that's a pretty good cut. The thing is, is I threw them both and they're both bent. <laughs> All right, guys. The last thing, I'm going for a combo. I'm going to go for the top piece right there with my last dragon. And then we're going to go for a full-on harpoon stab on the center one. And then we're going inside and we're giving this a rating. I think I already know the number on this bad boy. Three, two, one. Oh! Come on, come on! Oh, oh! 
I think you got it. I think I got him and someone else. Well, I went through some wood. All right, so after seeing that, we're gonna go inside now. Now that we've got a good idea of what it's capable of, we can give it a good, I think I can give it a good price. What do you think? I think I can give it a, a very fair price. <laughs> I think I can give it an even more accurate and fair price. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys in there. Okay, now for the Curse of Dragon. <laughs> this thing is gonna be tough because everything about it, the swords suck, but everything about it says they spent a lot of time on it. So, I'm gonna use my origin. You need your origin? Okay, origin. let me find the origin for you and see what you But you have to show me because you're not using your origin. You get, you'll get to find out too. <laughs> no, I accidentally solved the origin as well because I just opened my phone, but <laughs> the origin is Wish. It's Wish as well, actually. Yeah. That gives you nothing really. I also noticed all the paint is coming off here. All right, so let's get ready to write our numbers down and we'll reveal what we got. God damn, I'm not gonna look. It's like you're taking a SAT too. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is for the practical round. So this is between 50 and $100. And we're gonna go with Parker's first because it's on the left side this time. So here we go. Let's see what Parker put down for the, the Curse of Dragon. Ready? $53. I have no faith in this thing whatsoever. <laughs> okay, I will show you what my answer is. I guess I had a little bit more confidence in it than you did because like I said, if this, because Wish could be from the US sometime. If it's in the US, it will cost a lot more just because of the manufacturing. So here we go. Three, two, one. $74. Yeah, I went a little high because the only reason I went a little high was like I said is that I deal with Wish a lot. Parker could be right. This could be right in the bottom of the barrel, but I just known things like this and they can charge a lot for a gimmick. So I'm going to go ahead and just guess 20, extra $24. $74.53. Let's find out what the actual price is here. Yo has had to cheated. There's no way that you've got that exact number almost. This costs $52. $52? <laughs> So Parker was off by a margin of one dollar somehow. What? <laughs> no, I'm not even close. Okay, 74 was off. All right, so that one is 53. So right now we're tied. Unfortunately, I only like. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be too sad. We're tied, but I only like being ahead. Okay. So. Hey, man, if I win the Chili's gift card, I'll get you some chips. But not the queso. Wow, that's so nice. You have 100 bucks. You won't even spend an extra three to get me some goddamn queso. <laughs> Thanks. So now let's see what the next item is. So now we are on the last round, and that. That is the unaffordable. Okay, so this is also gonna be for you guys too, Red Pack. So right here on this side of your screen is a card where you guys can vote with a poll. And that is gonna be, you're gonna have different options to have like $100, $125, $150, and $200. You guys have to try and guess what the price of this item is using that poll. And we'll see if the Rep Pack was actually right. If you want to comment down below a more exact number if you want to. But are you ready for the review? This product. It's an air rifle, okay. so that's interesting. All right. Here's the, I'm actually gonna give you the origin for it because it gave me it. This is by Benjamin. Benjamin? Yes, not, yes, Breaking Benjamin, the Breaking Air Benjamin, which is the air ball brand, that Benjamin. So that's a pretty good sign right there. That's like cold steel essentially of air rifles. Let's see what we got here. The other information is it's a multi-shot. I don't know what that means. We'll find out. All right, ready? Like all the strange men at the park, I, I'm ready for the reveal. <laughs> <laughs> he told me I was gonna get a hot dog for $5. I didn't want that hot dog. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, oh. that's Benjamin Box. Baby. It looks smaller. Usually Benjamin products, guys, they can go anywhere from some stuff that's like the $102 range, but they have most of their product, which is like three to like the $800 range. So I'm gonna guess it's probably, you know, it has to be one of the lower ones. This, what's the PSI on it? Okay, the max pressure though, I was gonna see if it had less than the air, but it has 2,000 PSI. That's a lot of PSI. <laughs> so that says something right there. And then dude, check this out. Shoot as fast as you can, pull the trigger. So we know it's at least a hundred bucks because that's just me manufacturing labor costs America. <laughs> yeah. Pop it up and see what it looks like. This is pretty basic. I yeah, mean, very much like the box. Yeah, to be honest, Benjamin usually, I mean, I got the Airbow, that thing's like almost $800 and it came pretty much like this, just thrown in a box. It's pretty much how Benjamin does it. So I, that can't be a real call to, but that's a lot of plastic. All plastic, no oh, leather, wow. no grip, no nothing, but just plastic. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> the, the only thing part. that's quality is probably that. Yeah, the barrel is actually metal. So let's go outside and see what this thing, how this thing works. We have to figure out how it works as well. Also pump it up. Multi-shot air rifle, first time ever, let's do it. All right, guys, so now we have the semi-auto Benjamin. I am very curious to see if this thing is really semi-auto. We should be able to use it just one shot after another. It's got 12 shots. We got six cans there. That gives me six extra shots in case I miss. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Damn, it went oh. so clean. It wasn't even very loud. Next one. Oh my 
my god! And the gun was so accurate, I was able to literally rapid fire the rest of those shots. Let's see, there should be a couple more shots left. Wow. <laughs> Instantly. It's literally as fast as your, your finger can move. Which I will say, I was not expecting with this plastic shell. All right, so we're going to be really testing how many of you really can pull the trigger as many times as you can and just keep shooting. So right here, I just put the whole case of monsters. That's what you could call a rep pack. <laughs> All right, my goal here, I'm going to take this safety off, is to make this whole thing a holy mess. Just a bunch of holes nice, through it. Nice, nice. All right. A whole lot of holes. Holy mess. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh I see. Wordplay. <laughs> yes. I guess it. I don't worry, Sunday's coming up. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's get go. to it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd say that's a holy mess. This thing is blasted. You can't through. even see it. Go ahead and like pour out the liquid. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like squeeze it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. empty. Bodied. Bodied. <laughs> Demoralized. <laughs> Disfigured. <laughs> Mortified. <laughs> Post-traumatic stress. <laughs> Embarrassing. Not accomplishment. Oh, 10 years in therapy. <laughs> Just kick it at this point. <laughs> All right, guys. Last shot with the Benjamin here. We're going to be going for the three jar power bust out. Start the top one, hit the second one, hit the bottom one, which is the strongest and the thickest. Let's see what it's got. And this should be able to hone in. I think I can get a price range from here. Three, two, one. <laughs> two. <laughs> oh. There we oh, go. Oh, nice, nice, nice. There we go. All right. So this thing had the power to take down the jars, which most air rifles, a lot of them literally get flattened on the thickness of the glass on those. So let's go inside. Let's see if we can get, I have definitely a price in mind for myself. I can't speak I for you. Good, good, oh, you can't, so you can't speak for you. Don't, don't do it. I'm going to do it. He but, doesn't have a price. No, I do. No, 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 I do. Okay. Well, we'll see what his price is. And also what I've got in mind right now. Let's see what we got here. All right. So right here now, we have it. The Benjamin multi-shot 12 shots. That was a lot of fun to shoot but the question is this is the unaffordable brown so that's between 100 and 200 dollars question is what would benjamin charge for this and the thing was i went really low at the beginning i was thinking close to 100 because of the plastic right but after that display of power and how actually usable it is now I, I, that ticked my bar quite a bit so now i don't know what do you think <laughs> like i'm just gonna say what i think <laughs> <laughs> my mom stunted that year <laughs> Get the papers out then. I got mine right here. I think I've got a good idea on this one just after you shooting it. And I and you're buying a lot of Benjamin products. I think a good a good good call on them as well. Alright. Alright, so we have the answer. I wrote my answer already. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm using my origin because I realize I still have one. So might as well get any you know evidence I can. Origin is Amazon. So we know it's not I was thinking it was eBay, it could be cheaper because maybe it was used. Maybe that's what the box was open. You know? I'm gonna, Amazon. Stick, I'm gonna stick with my answer, I think. So here we go. I've got my right here. Marcus is right here. It's 1-1. One, one. Who's getting the chilies? And who's getting the gun, most who's importantly? Who's getting the cheddar case? <laughs> who's getting the bullets and also the chicklets? <laughs> Alright, so Parker's answer was... Hundred and seventy nine ninety nine. That's honestly around where my number was. My number was slightly slower. You'll see right here. Only by a little bit though. I had one hundred fifty nine ninety nine. That's a pretty good price. That's a difference of twenty dollars. Here we go. Let's find out what is the price and who is getting the chilies right now. I'm hungry. The price is. 136. Oh. <laughs> that lucky was a weird number. 156. That's why I say, that's why, I, oh, Amazon, they do weird numbers like that. I swear. $146.50. <laughs> Only on Amazon. All right, rep back. So, you know that, you know that, man. Thanks, thanks. A little respect here. <laughs> now that, man, it's your final one. If you guys like this series, make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below. And I'll try and make sure it happens again. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and smash that like button if you haven't already. And check out this video on your screen right here which is actually the last episode of you draw it i buy it when you click on that video it's going to put you on a playlist of the entire series of i draw it, you buy it you guys are going to not going to want to miss it it's one of the most fan favorite series on the channel so go check it out and i'll see you people people over there and as always rep pack i'll see you guys in the next one adios Bloop.